What is going on everybody? Welcome back to World of Tanks, uh, where today I am going to show you one amazing, one holy shite battle with Object 252U. The amount of credits, credits profit without any boosts whatsoever is simply mind-blowing. And of course, the amount of damage done, raw experience and the amount of epic medals from this battle is amazing. And uh, this is why I decided to show this battle to you today. Uh, this battle is played by, or was played by, Jensen Crow from Croatia, I guess. If you are not from Croatia, then sorry, but uh, Jensen, let's call you Jensen. Who is playing with a standard Object 252U, not with the Special Defender Edition. Uh, that is not so special in my opinion, actually. That special camo is nothing too crazy or, or uh, too different to the standard version. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe if you are playing with Defender, you are not allowed to use or you cannot use any standard camos, which are pretty cool on Soviet vehicles. So yeah, there is that. Anyways, good snipe into the commander hatch of that AMX M449 Liberte, which is also one really, really amazing tier 8 premium heavy tank, and oh why? <laughs> Doesn't find gun depression, and yeah, uh, Jensen didn't have good enough gun depression either, so he dinged his shot into that oh why? Uh, but uh, Liberte made one huge, huge mistake, revealing a lower plate, and ho oh, oh, but you decided to snap that shot into the commander hatch. Well, whatever works, doesn't it, guys? And uh, this battle really is going to show you how strong Object 252U is, and why this uh, tank is considered being one of the best, if not the best, tier 8 premium tanks in the game. And I believe this tank actually can be the best uh, tier 8 premium heavy tank in the game, or they are equal with uh, D26 E5 Patriot, which is also, DPM is also crazy for tier 8 premium tank. DPM plus armor, yeah, a lot of awesome things. Uh, but here you are going to see the armor, uh, DPM is not the best on 252U, as you know, but alpha damage 440 alpha damage is where this tank shines, and with uh, really good penetration as well uh, with standard shells. Uh, this tank has better penetration with standard shells than on a lot of standard tier 8 tanks, tier 8 heavy tanks, like D32, or it has the same standard penetration as on IS-3, so to be able to get that kind of uh, standard penetration on tier 8 premium tank is always awesome. A nice ram kill over here, Emil 2 was reloading, so it was just... You just had to pick up the kill, nothing more, nothing less. Our own e is receiving shots from across the map, and if you are going to look at the scoreboard, Jensen's team is actually losing 7 to 10. Mainly because you can see that two of Jensen's teammates, two tier 8 tanks in tier 8 battle, have minus 1 kills. Minus 1 kill, and we have to fight with a team like that versus enemy team that is actually working together. Beautiful shot into the tracks, I wanted to say let's pray that this guy doesn't have repair kit, but well seems like uh, obviously he had repair kit, but uh, good trade anyways, you did damage and you didn't receive any damage back. And now looking on the mi minimap I can see that our GW Tiger P just crossed the last known position of that oh ho. Oho wasn't here anymore, that means Oho, yes, Oho is going to be up on the hill soon. Uh, meanwhile, you were able to make yet another awesome trade with that Object 252U. And Oho is actually not looking at you. Yeah, that Oho is trying to focus down our own knee and seems like he actually missed the beautiful good work. Enemy Object 252U has been destroyed and next target is enemy Oho. If you are going to be close enough, I believe this guy doesn't have enough gun depression and he is still trying to kill Oni. What do you know, tier 8 uh, Japanese tank is trying to kill tier 7 Japanese tank as hard as possible. Come on, are you able to save your Oni or not? Nice! Good teamwork, 403 damage done into the back of his turret and uh, still losing 10 to 12. Tiger 1, no damage received once again. And as I said, you are able to see how tough this tank is, how tough Object 252U is. Amazing. 
Of course, VK4502A is going to kill Oni because he was one shot. Smart play by enemy VK. And 449 damage snapshot into him quickly. Come on, use the dead. Oh ho, nice. Yet another bounce. And I believe he should not be able to trick you actually over here. You have only two AP shells left, by the way, and bouncing like a bounce. Now, most likely, he's trying to go around once again. Good ram to win some time. Beautiful shot into the pooper. 463 HP left, and he actually tracked you. I wanted to say, with a little bit of ramming and one more shot needed, you should be able to kill him. Tracking shot, and done. Tracking shot with damage. Now, just finish off the kill with ramming, but nope. J Banther made you waste your repair kit on your tracks, and you actually didn't deal any damage whatsoever. And things are looking really bad. Come on, lower the numbers quickly. You just received three, I believe, three or four penetrations in a row. So 450 HP left, but you're bouncing Tiger 1 easily. I believe Tiger 1 is not able to penetrate you under angle like this. So only three more tanks left to kill. 450 HP left. Full HP Tiger 1 is going to be your next victim, but do you see what is the problem? Ammunition is going to be the problem most likely. Only 5 APCR shells left. You have used every single AP round. You actually didn't carry that many APCR rounds in the first place. So it is uh, really awesome to see that. That you are here to make credits. I believe you started with 8 APCR rounds. Am I right guys? I don't remember exactly, but I believe it was 8. Uh, anyways, only 3 APCR rounds left because 9077 damage done. And that Tiger 1 was, at one point, was like, fuck you dude, I'm out of here. But he still decided to turn around and you had to waste yet another APCR for that kill. So what that means is you have only 4 shells left. 2 APCR rounds and 2 HG rounds. No information how much HP that Cannon Banzer has, or Cannon and Banzer, or whatever this is, and uh, how much HP Artillery has. Most likely RT is at full HP, but it is a TD. And I believe it is TD is capping as well, because last known position is at T3 in the edge of uh, D3, but uh, he wasn't in the fight, so I guess this guy is capping 1 minute and 9 seconds left on the clock. I mean capping clock, so you should be able to make it if the second guy is not going to enter into the capture zone. And I can say that your tank has seen some better days. You have broken gun, broken turret. Broken gas tank, broken tracks. <laughs> Your tank is pretty much yellow, as you can see from the damage model. But uh, 40 seconds left. Come on, where are you hiding? And spotted full, almost full HP. Okay, 30 seconds left. Play it safe, side scrape, or simply say fuck it, and you actually got penetrated. That was a little bit too ballsy move, in my opinion. You didn't waste time side scraping. Come on, you bounced. Make it happen, make it count. You cannot be penetrated anymore. Is he able to penetrate a lower plate or not? Nope, that shot didn't go through. He's trying to ram you and he actually rammed himself to death. Thank God for that. Because you have only two shells left. You really didn't want to waste yet another shell killing that uh, uh, cannon and panzer when there is one artillery left to kill and you decided to start to cap. Interesting. And you are saying that in the chat as well, two HE shells left. So what are you going to do? Are you going to hunt down that enemy artillery or are you going to wait it out? Let's speed it up a little bit. Four times the speed of the battle. 20% capped. What would you do? Think about a situation like this. You have broken gun, broken turret, broken gas tank, broken tracks. 77 HP left. What would you do? Would you hunt down that artillery? Who actually doesn't give you anything? A little bit of uh, damage done maybe, but you already have 6 kills. So top gun is in the bag. 
So, what would you do? I believe there is actually only one option. You have 77 HP left, you have broken gun, broken turret, broken gas tank, broken tracks. I really do not want to fight with Artie when I have all those broken things and 77 HP left. So yes, Jensen is going to win this game with capping and guys, check the kill feed. Boom, <laughs> enemy Lorraine15551 was lost in battle. So I guess he was actually up on the hill trying to take shots or he actually didn't take any shots. But he was lost in the battle, I believe he jumped off the cliff or, uh, yeah, the cliff or from the edge. Uh, where you are able to do that. Anyways, Jensen, what a battle. And now, let's take a look what Jensen was able to get for this amazing and crazy battle. Perfect battle, guys. Why I say perfect? Well, you are going to see that soon. But he received a stanker, obviously. A lot of awesome stickers to put on your tank. 252,000 credits. 3,731 uh, experience. And now epic medals. Kolobanov's medal, Spartan, Cool Headed, Steel Wall, Top Gun, Invader, High Caliber, Defender and Confederate. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 epic medals, guys. Can you believe it? Over 10,000 damage done, 10,158 damage done, 6 kills, 2,261 raw experience. Look at the rest of his team. What a carry. One-sided carry. Well done, dude. Well done. And why I said it was perfect game? Shots fired, 28. Direct hits, 28. And 25 penetrations, but hit ratio is 100%. And over 10,000 damage done, 5,770 damage blocked. Hits received, 27. Penetrations, only 5. Uh, you bounced 22 shields. And you damaged 12 enemy vehicles out of 15, killing 6 of them. Yes, one RT was able to get away, but luckily he didn't get away. He committed suicide. Uh, but uh, you made 213,000 credits profit without any uh, boosting uh, consumables or not consumables, uh, without any boosting, what you call them, come on, personal reserves, yes, 213,000 credits profit, crazy, crazy battle Jensen Crow, so thank you for sharing this battle with us, I hope you guys enjoyed today's battle, thumbs up for Jensen, and uh, hopefully this shows how tough tank Object 252U is and why I say this is one of the best, if not the best, tier 8 premium tank at the moment. I thank you for watching, take care and bye.